for the year in total, we did about 6.8% growth in discharges. 3.1% of those were in our same stores. We added beds. We brought on nine additional new hospitals this last year. So that's 17 new hospitals for the last two years. And we spent almost $238 million in our existing hospitals. So they would have the resources to allow for that growth. So all in all, everyone did a terrific job and it was another year of growth for Encompass Health. Labor was probably the greatest challenge last year for Encompass Health and healthcare as a whole. We had inflationary pressures relative to uh, compensation and salary. Uh, there was an ongoing shortage of not only nurses, but we also saw it in the number of support services uh, as well. One of the things we did last year, and really it was a uh, continuation of the year before, was consolidating the recruitment efforts, uh, particularly for nursing, which really helped. I think it freed up the hospitals to focus on other aspects of, of uh, caring for the patients. Uh, and we had uh, a group of recruiters here in the Birmingham office that really helped us hire a number of new nurses. Matter of fact, we hired 30% more nurses in 2022 than we did in 2021, which really helped the labor aspect. So it was a lot of work, but I think everyone did a tremendous job. And I think quite frankly, uh, we outpaced many of our competitors when it came to our ability to hire. Uh, so the next focus for us in, in the labor front will be retention. And that's where our real focus is for 2023. One of the gauges we use as an indicator of how well we're doing in terms of just being a good workplace is our employee engagement survey. So we look at the uh, percent of our staff that take the survey, we look at the scores of the survey, and then compare it to uh, comparable uh, industry standards that are out there. So we were able to score almost an 81% on our employee engagement versus a 72% uh, for the industry. So once again, we felt like we did really well, but there are a number of areas, as there uh, are every year, that we can improve upon. And that's what you'll see us work on this year in terms of looking at the areas of the survey that perhaps we didn't score as well as we'd like to. What can we do to improve the workforce so that we can do better and be a better workplace for our staff? We had a number of hospitals. Matter of fact, you'll see the top 10 hospitals that had the highest scores. So those hospitals are really separating themselves from the pack. Uh, they have a great culture, they have a great enthusiasm, they have dedicated employees there, uh, and they are scoring higher on that employee engagement survey, which is a real priority for us as a company and individual hospitals. So one of the areas in employee engagement that we scored the highest on, matter of fact, it was one of our top three categories was the DEI program. And Leterica Shelton and her team have really done a great job. I can't wait to see where they take it in 2023. But we scored almost 14% higher than the industry standard when it comes to DEI. So, uh, really proud of how well we did uh, on that within the survey. Enhancing patient care is a really our number one goal every year. And 2022 is no different. Uh, our focus with every patient is to get them to their highest uh, level of functional outcome. And if that can allow them to be uh, back home at the time of discharge, that's really uh, a win-win for everyone involved. And this last year, we were able to, to achieve almost an 83% discharge to community for a patient. So that is really an indication of how well our clinicians are doing in working with these patients and making sure they maximize the clinical outcomes for them. In addition to our ability to having a higher percent, almost 83% of our patients were discharged back to a community this year, is patient satisfaction. We wanna see how well the patient thinks we have done uh, uh, for them and, and working with them. Uh, and we scored 2% uh, higher uh, on the surveys this year than last year. So every opportunity to increase our patient satisfaction where they think that we did a great job and it was a great place to receive the rehabilitation, then it's a real focus and a win-win for us as well. Another way that we've enhanced patient care 
is through the Falls Reduction Task Force. And we're using data that we have collected over the years to develop predictive models to help identify patients that may be at a greater risk uh, for falls. And if we can take interventions or other efforts uh, to prevent that fall, then that's obviously a safer environment and better for the patient. So we've seen a reduction in the number of falls in spite of having increased number of patient days. So uh, the fall uh, reduction task force and the, the falls reduction model uh, is working. And I'm very excited to see uh, the continued progress in reducing our falls we'll have in 2023. A number of our patients in uh, many of our hospitals uh, are on dialysis and the ability to provide that in-house through our Tableau rollout, which we now have 41 hospitals that have the Tableau devices. So we can provide that dialysis in our hospitals in a dialysis suite for our patients. We've already started to see some quality uh, metrics improve because we have greater control over the patient's schedule. We can provide that service in a higher quality manner. So overall, the Tableau process and the Tableau rollout has been a huge improvement for providing the service for our patients. So as a wrap up, I just want to say thank you for all of our staff for everything that you've done to help Encompass Health be successful in yet another great year. We reached many of the goals that we set out with and we provided great care for thousands of patients. So thank you for all you've done in 2022 and I'm very excited about 2023.